In a small community in the Pacific Northwest, a dynamic company is growing. This company has served the equipment dealer market for 30 years. They did it by following their principles, by being the best and by being honest to their customers. DIS, technology driven, people focused. Absorption rate is one of the fundamental things that I've heard about, learned about, studied, calculated, reviewed, and uh, decided, eh, I'm not real sure it's for me. Um, uh, absorption rate is based on the premise that, uh, um, I mean, as it's been described to me anyway, is based on the premise that uh, your parts and service department will carry the burden when the ag economy goes in a tailspin. And that may be true, it may not be true. Um, our observations, experiences, and, and having lived through one major economic downturn already, uh, is that the parts and service that a farmer purchases at retail in our area will go down proportionately with whole goods sales if and when that time comes again. So to, to build a business based on absorption rate that, that, uh, um, that takes whole goods out of the equation and assumes that you're going to maintain the same level of parts and service sales in a down economy, I don't believe is true. I think my little antidote on that is uh, uh, a good friend of mine is in the tire business and and uh, he, uh, I remember having a conversation with him in the late 80s and, and the tire business was just picking up again. He's specifically in the ag tire business, big part of his business. And, uh, and he was saying, oh, Leo, it's great that uh, the business is finally picking up for me and I'm finally selling some ag tires again. And I said, well, I said, well how can that be? I, I said, in the down period in the early 80s, everybody said that, uh, um, that instead of buying new tractors, uh, people were uh, extending the life of their old one, and, and part of that was, was by replacing tires. And he said, no, that's absolutely not true. Farmers just ran on wore out tires. So um, the, the, I believe it's a fallacy that, that farmers will continue to spend the same amount of money on parts and service in downtimes. I think they cut those purchases down also. So the bottom line is that I feel that we have to look at our departments we have to be profitable in our departments on a consistent basis as part of the overall dealership package, but to assess it and to build a model based on survival during a downtime, you're looking at the wrong metrics. In a small community in the Pacific Northwest, a dynamic company is growing. This company has served the equipment dealer market for 30 years. They did it by following their principles, by being the best and by being honest to their customers. DIS, technology driven, people focused.